Hello, my name is Philippe Ferreira and I'm going to talk about the design of humid fibers for multivision multiplexing. This work has been done as a collaboration with Daniel Fonseca from Corent Portugal and Henrique Silva from Instituto de Comunicações Coimbra. The outline of this presentation is composed by a short motivation for the study of humid fibers, a description of the fiber profile considered, uh, the presentation of optimization function and algorithm, followed by the optimization results. Looking into the annual growth rates of internet traffic and capacity of commercial optical fiber systems, we find a gap of 30%. Optical fiber systems are lagging behind. Moreover, taking into account that the capacity of systems and development is a factor of 2 below the non-linear capacity limit, it becomes apparent that in the next decade a massive deployment of parallel fibers or generators is inevitable. A possible solution would be the design of advanced single mode fibers, however even reducing the attenuation to 0.05 dB per kilometer and non-near coefficient by three orders of magnitude, we will not even double the capacity. In fact, the solution for the capacity crunch is the emerging technology called space division multiplexing. This technology can be based on different types of links, single mode fiber bundles, multi-core fibers and few mode fibers. Comparing to single-mode fiber bundles and multi-core fibers, few-mode fibers present several advantages, such as lower non-near coefficients, higher pump efficiency for optical amplifiers, and higher density of optical integration for transponders, amplifiers, and rodents. However, few-mode fibers also present several disadvantages, such as high equalization complexity to compensate the combined effect of strong model crosstalk and differential mode delay. Uh, moreover, uh, they present difficult scalability to higher number of modes. Two schemes have been proposed to limit the accumulation of DMD, the use of inherently low DMD FMFs and the use of DMD compensated FMFs, FMFs composed by segment with alternating DMD sign. Previously, we have already studied ELD FMFs and DC FMFs. We have considered that for two segments, both schemes lead to similar levels of accumulated DMD in optimum conditions. However, in practice, more than two segments will be required, and since the number of segments increases with the number of modes, DC FMFs will not be suitable for deployment. Therefore, in this study, we will consider only ELD FMFs. The fiber profile considered is composed by a graded core and declining trench as shown in the left figure. In previous works, we have considered a constant value for the refractive index at the core center and optimized the remaining parameters. Using such procedure, we obtained the optimum DMD of 10 picoseconds per kilometer for 6 modes. However, this value is already close to the DMD required for 2000 kilometers of multimode transmission at 100 gigabits per second, which is 12 picoseconds per kilometer. Therefore, in this study, we will consider the optimization of the delta NCO parameter. In this figure, we can see that low delta NCO values lead to low DMD over a wide wavelength range. However, the use of low delta NCO values leads to higher macro band losses. Therefore, macro band losses have to be taken into account during the optimization process. When designing few mode fibers, the first step is to choose the normalized frequency value. We choose the highest possible V for a given number of modes in order to get strongly guided modes. Thereby, the V values chosen were 7.25 for 4 modes, 9 for 6 modes, 11.15 for 9 modes, and 12.95 for 12 modes. In the following, a delta N short change implies a W1 change such that V remains constant. The optimization function considered takes into account two figures, the maximum DMD among the guided modes and over the defined wavelength range, called max DMD, and the curvature radius for 100 turns and the MBL of 0 0.5 dB at 1625 nanometers. Using this function, the optimization targets are the lowest max DMD possible and the curvature radius lower than 30 mm according to respective ETUT recommendation. In this slide we can see the optimization function. It is proportional to the max DMD value times the penalty factor for the solutions with RC, 
higher than 30 mm. Moreover, we have added an uh, epsilon parameter such that we can consider or ignore the RC requirement. Uh, this optimization function was subject to several constraints. For instance, the delta NC value cannot be lower than 1 times 10 to minus 3 due to manufacturing limitations and cannot be higher than 5 times 10 to minus 3 since we already know that the MD increases with the delta NC value. Moreover, alpha should be between 1.5 and 2.5 since we already know that the alpha parameter should be uh, the optimum alpha parameter should be uh, around 2. Uh, the delta N trench should not be deeper than 5 times 10 to minus 3 and so on. The optimization algorithm considered takes advantage of the MaxDMD properties. We have found out that MaxDMD is a convex function of alpha and delta n trench. Thereby, alpha and delta n trench can be optimized one dimension at a time using a golden section search. And the remaining parameters were optimized performing an exhaustive search over delta n CO w and W3. Finally, we can see the optimization results. In the left figure we can see the max DMD as a function of the number of modes and in the right figure we can see the respective curvature radius as a function of the number of modes. In the left figure we can see that even for 12 modes we can obtain a max DMD lower than 12 picoseconds per kilometer when considering a delta NCO equal or lower than 4 times 10 to minus 3. In the right figure we can see that for epsilon equal to 0, RC is much higher than 30 mm, but when considering epsilon equal to 1, RC is always lower than 30 mm. Going back again to the left figure, we can see that there is no significant difference between epsilon equal to 0 and epsilon equal to 1, so the RC requirement has negligible impact on the max DMD results. So, in conclusion, we can design fibers uh, with 4 to 12 modes, with DMD lower than 12 picoseconds and RC lower than 30 millimeters. When considering a delta NCO uh, between 1 and 4 times 10 to minus 3. Now, looking into the optimum trench dimensioning, we can see that for a given delta NCO value, when increasing the number of modes, the optimum trench gets farther away from the core, gets narrower and deeper. On the other hand, for a given number of modes, when increasing the delta and cell value, the optimum trench gets closer to the core, gets wider and gets shallower. In conclusion, a graded core few mode fiber design with a cladding trench was optimized for lower TMD over the C band, considering from 4 to 12 modes. All the profile parameters were optimized to obtain the lowest max TMD possible and the curvature radius lower than 30 mm. The optimization results have shown that the delta NCO parameter allows us to reduce max TMD at the expense of increasing RC. Even so, Max DMD and RC requirements can be satisfied simultaneously for a delta NCO value between 1 and 4 times to minus 3 from 4 to 12 modes. Uh, moreover, for 12 modes, it has been shown that a max DMD lower than 3 picoseconds per kilometer can be obtained. To finish my presentation, I would like to acknowledge Core in Portugal, the Fundação para a Ciência e Tecnologia, and the European project Modegap. Thank you for your attention.